understand that erectile dysfunction can be a difficult situation, both psychologically as well as physically. It can be embarrassing and can lead to some resistance to seeking help. There are many different options for treatment, and I want to explain about a possible surgery that may be of assistance for you. So what is erectile dysfunction? As you might commonly know, erectile dysfunction is the inability to get an erection or maintain an erection. It's actually quite common. It affects up to 1 in 10 men in the United States and is believed approximately 60 million men in the United States are affected by erectile dysfunction. There are many known causes and they range from psychological such as stress to endocrine causes such as hormonal uh, problems, vascular causes such as congestive heart failure or peripheral vascular disease. There's also neurogenic causes, which are specifically a problem with the nerves going to the penis to cause an erection. All of these play in a role, and they all play a role together in causing an erection. So when any one of these issues arises, it can cause erectile dysfunction. What we're trying to explore here at the Institute for Advanced Reconstruction is a way to treat one part of the erectile dysfunction, which is the neurogenic aspect of erectile dysfunction. So we are examining particular patients who have a problem with the nerves going to the penis and providing a surgical cure to treat this aspect. So I'm sure you're excited to know what our treatment option that we're providing here is. Let me tell you first about the traditional approach to treating erectile dysfunction. Usually, it starts with prescribing an oral medication such as Viagra or Cialis. And if that doesn't work, then the next medication is an injection directly into the penis. If those two options don't work, then usually what is recommended is a penile pump or implant into the penis to create an erection. What we're offering here at the Institute for Advanced Reconstruction is a fourth modality. And that treatment is a nerve transfer. Now that is a surgery and it would be performed after the oral medication and injection medication don't work, but would need to occur before an implant occurs. The reason for that is because a penile implant or penile pump destroys the normal architecture of the penis, which is the corpus cavernosum. And so once that occurs, there is, this is irreversible. There's no way to fix that. Now a nerve transfer is a commonly performed procedure that we do. We perform a nerve transfer in the upper arm or hand if there is an injury to a nerve in that area. We can also do it in the leg to restore muscle function in either of those areas. So it's a commonly performed procedure. What is novel about what we're doing is that it hasn't been done before in it for penile innervation. What the nerve transfer is, is it's rerouting the information from the brain to the desired location, in this case, the penis. And the patients we are looking for, they have had some type of nerve damage or interference in the special nerves going to the penis, which are specifically called the cavernous nerves. That may occur after a prostate surgery or a prostate radiation, pelvic trauma, even can occur with diabetes. There are many reasons why these cavernous nerves can be injured or damaged in some way. The nerve that we're transferring comes from a different location in the pelvic area. So it bypasses the damaged nerve to restore the function to the penis. So you're probably wondering what the recovery is like after the surgery. Fortunately, this is not a very invasive procedure. There's three small incisions made in the pubic hair area, and the surgery itself is all just underneath the skin. It's not a very invasive procedure, and because of that, we can do it in the outpatient surgery center where you go home the same day. In terms of returning to work and normal function, within about a week you'll feel up to doing normal types of function. There'll de definitely be some swelling and some bruising in the area, um, but that's very well tolerated. Most patients really don't need any pain medicine after the procedure. In terms of full recovery, we like to say six weeks before doing any real exercise or strong intercourse. But in terms of nerve function and having erectile function back into your life, because the nerves heal so slowly, which is typical of general nerve regeneration in our body, we estimate about six to nine months before you see an effect from the surgery. That being said, during that time, 
We encourage you to have sex. We encourage manipulation of the penis and that stimulates the nerve regeneration. So in terms of the benefits of this procedure, what we expect and our goal is to have regeneration of the cavernous nerves that affect the vascularity of the penis and thereby restore erectile function. Now every case is different as the etiologies or causes of erectile dysfunction is different in every case. However, we expect to have an improvement in erectile dysfunction within about six months after the procedure. One real benefit of this procedure is unlike other types of treatments such as oral medication or injectable medication, this is a long-term treatment. So once the nerves restore their function, it is a permanent effect. So in closing, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you're interested, I would like to talk with you. You can contact me through the Institute for Advanced Reconstruction. There's a simple form you can fill out there and then we can get your information and I can call you back. I know this is a sensitive topic and something that you might not want to discuss with everybody. I want to assure you that full discretion will be provided and you will have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. I look forward to talking with you.